welcome back to Get Good With Guppy. We were trying to do uh, the live stream in Discord, but apparently we're all blocked out of it. We're blocked, we can't access it. But the show must go on, so we're gonna still do it. So, I have something exciting to show you guys in this session. Specifically gonna show you this new autofill feature that we introduced to the simple model. And I did actually completely reset it before this session. Are you sure about that? Oh, I didn't. I tried training it. Well, we're going to reset it now. <laughs> so I'm going to reset it. So now it doesn't know how to do anything. Basically equal probability of every action in every state. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we can use this new feature we introduced, the autofill, to basically speed up training like crazy which I'm really, really excited about. And then there's also this thing that we introduced over here, which allows you to see which state you're in, right? Which is gonna be very important as we're trying to understand how to tune what the AI does in different buckets. A lot of feedback that you guys gave us was, well, I don't know which bucket I'm in. And so what we did here is we basically provide you some interface to understand what the bucket is, um, what are the different buckets you can possibly be in. So for example, there could be a case where there's two conflicting buckets and we have a priority system that chooses one over the other. So in this case, you can see that both advantage and neutral are both buckets that are active right now, but the neutral one is not chosen because it's lower on the priority list. Rather, the agent is prioritizing the fact that it has the special charged up and it's in line with the opponent, right? But if it wasn't charged up, right now it's not in that advantage state so it's just going to default to the neutral bucket that's kind of it at a high level um, i personally think this is super helpful especially when moving things around i can understand what the different buckets are um, the description of these different buckets um, and, and i guess specifically um, i care about when there's two buckets that are true at the same time which one has priority over the other quick note um, priority is the the, the highest priority is on the left, and then the uh, less priority, it goes to the right. Um, so, so you can kind of think about it that way. So the one on the very left, both off stage, is the highest priority. Neutral is the least priority. All right, let's get into this, and I can show you how the autofill feature works. So, I mean, yeah, these decisions don't really matter. I just want to show you guys something pretty simple to start, but it has profound implications. So, the first thing I like doing when I'm training my simple model is I like training recovery. And so one way that I like doing this is something like that, right? Where I just show it going from one side to the other. Now you guys know that in the simple model we have auto invertibility. Actually, I should show you guys that. Um, I don't think I explained it well, but there's this little icon here uh, to the right of the state, which is like this teardrop with a half and half. Um, if you see that, it means that state is auto invertible. But for example, this one is not. Um, so just keep your eye out for that. You can see which states are invertible and which are not very easily. Now, going back to what I was just gonna say is that uh, because the states or a lot of states are auto invertible such as the recovery states I only had to show it what to do on the left side but now with this autofill it actually like almost like puts this like on steroids where there's both auto mirroring and autofill to similar states so why don't we just head into the training config and I can show you guys what that looks like so we just showed it recovery right so if I just train my model for that you're gonna see it learned exactly what I showed it, right? It used these three um, recovery options and it went to the top right. And of course, I mentioned before, we have an auto mirroring, so it does it exactly the same on the other side. But let's bring up our little, um, our little helper over here. And we can see um, that I trained it in this specific state, right? When we are off to the side of the stage and the opponent is not edge guarded. What happens if I move my opponent to start edge guarding me? Well, it doesn't know what to do. So before introducing the autofill, we'd have to show it what to do in this situation, right? That's state 65. If I go closer to the opponent, that's state 66, right? When I'm close to them uh, and I'm in line, state 67. When I'm below them, state 68 when I'm above them. And this is all with low percentage. If I ramp up the percentage, it's new states, right? So you can imagine you have all these states and you have to train the same recovery for all of these. It's 
It's a lot. But, autofill to the rescue. If I turn on autofill similar states, boom, it automatically filled it. And you see, as the buckets are going to change, it's doing the same thing, right? Lower the percentage, it's doing the same thing. So I just showed it once in one bucket. And what we do is we auto detect buckets that are similar, right? And then it'll apply the same training to all those similar buckets. But if I go to something completely different, like something up here, where you don't want to just jump to the top because then you'll die, it doesn't, it doesn't autofill that, right? Because it's different. Same thing with under the stage, this is different. So it finds the adjacent states, things that intuitively you would want to group together in training, and then it autofills them. So now in just one training session, I'm able to do what I probably would have done in like multiple training sessions and showing it in multiple different situations which I think is awesome. So I'm just gonna quick save this bad boy. And what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try and build an agent really, really quickly with this auto fill feature. Um, so we kind of know what to do um, when we're recovering um, to the side of the stage. We don't quite know what to do at the top of the stage yet. But basically what I'm gonna show it is, I'm probably just gonna show it some on stage combat using the auto fill, um, specifically in the neutral, as well as vertical combat i'll probably show it those two quickly and then maybe what it should do when it's at the top of the stage and then let's simulate and see how it does so this is going to be a really quick training session uh, to see how well the autofill works so uh, let's train some neutral so i'm just gonna do that when the opponent is shielding I'm going to just teach it to grab and it's going to do it in all of the adjacent states. When the opponent is attacking, I'm just going to teach it to shield. Uh, let me time this right. Oh, I don't know why it kept holding it. It's a bug I have to fix it looks like. And then when the opponent is, what's the other one? Oh, I guess. I think it's when we are in the air. I'm going to make the opponent not keep punching. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to jump. Yeah, and then when I'm close to landing, because I'm technically in the air and it's neutral, I'm just going to attack the opponent. Just something like that. Okay, so that was quickly training neutral. Um, again, if I just clicked neutral, you'll see that it's going to attack the opponent. But if the opponent's facing... Huh? Oh, I was like, I was like, what's going on? It auto-filled it. I forgot I had auto-fill turned on. So let me show you how it looks without it turned on first. <laughs> so if the opponent was facing away, it wouldn't know to attack because it's a different bucket. But since we are going to auto-fill, uh, it'll automatically know what to do when the opponent's facing away as well. And similarly, when we're facing away, it's going to say to turn the other direction and attack the opponent, which is exactly what we want. When the opponent is shielding, opponent is shielding it doesn't know what to do I think there was some bug there we're gonna go back and fix it right now but I'll just save this um, let's just hop into here okay and then I'll switch it over I just I just grabbed um, we're in neutral autofill Let's go to here when the opponent's shielding. Perfect. And then when they're turned around and shielding, we're also grabbing. This is exactly what we want. One thing that might not be <laughs> good is when we're turned the other way, it also grabs, but we can always fine tune that later, right? The idea, um, you can imagine uh, like an analogy to painting. We're painting the broad strokes right now, right? This is like the broad strokes of the policy. Afterwards, we come in with the, the smaller brush and we start adding in the details. Okay, that's the idea here. You know, save. Uh, and then finally, when they're attacking, we're gonna want to shield. I'll just do that real quick. I don't know what happened with the shield the first session. It was like, it was really acting up. Um, I will look into that. So when he's attacking, okay, I need to be strategic here. I need a shield. Okay. I think that was good. I, I might've been shielding during some idle states too, if I'm being honest. Oh wait, maybe it wasn't. Uh, when he was attacking, 
I losing my mind? One eternity later. Oh! <laughs> I had my advantage! That's why. I had this... Oh my god, I had the element charge. I totally forgot. That's more like it. Okay, now I can time this. Okay, there we go. That was what happened as well with the shield. Oh my god. I feel so silly. Um... So now, okay, I wish, I knew it, because you saw I was toggling between 77 and 79. I held the shield for too long um, when I also, like, when they weren't attacking. But when they are attacking, we're doing shield. Okay, no, we're hopping back in. We're going to fix this. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. You know what? It might not be a bad idea to mix in some shield. Uh... Because now, it's an increase a little pro- You saw what I did there? I lowered the learning rate, the learning multiple, so that it increased just a little bit of the shield over here. It's still mostly attacking. That might not be a bad option. Now, I'm wondering if I should autofill, and I don't think I should, because when they're facing the opposite direction and punching, I'm not going to want a shield. You know what I mean? Um, I'll let it do random things for now. Let's quick save. And you know what? We have something that knows how to recover well. It kind of knows what to do in neutral. Has no clue what to do in vertical combat. But let's simulate and kind of see how we perform. And then we'll, we'll continue to improve on it. So, all right, let's do it against the Gwei. Let's get it. Boom, look at that. In neutral, it, it's pretty good. Yeah, vertical combat, no clue what to do. No clue. But it's taking random actions. Some are connecting. Uh, oh, I didn't show what to do with the special. We'll do that next. Not gonna lie. Uh, no, that was, <laughs> that was bad. It doesn't know how to recover under the platform. We can show it that as well. Whoa, just threw it down. I love that. Are we gonna secure a W with... Minimal training sessions. Autofill for the win. I, I know I just jinxed myself, so I I always do this. I don't know why I said secure a W. We're stock down. <laughs> like <laughs> nice. You see, recovery recovery is good at the side. It's just when it gets close to the bottom of the platform, it's like it chokes. Yeah, you see, it has no clue what to do for a lot of vertical combat situations, but it's. It's honestly getting lucky. Oh! How would, how did that go through him? Must have been intangible for a second. Just jumped off the top of the stage. Oh yeah, it doesn't know what to do at the top. Uh, all right. We're hop back into training. There's a lot of stuff we could improve on. So let's hop back in here.